Hello everybody, today I'd like to make a short video about a very interesting alarm clock which I've had for a long time. This is a Chronotechna, Czechoslovakian alarm clock, made somewhere in the 1940s I believe. And I also think that Chronotechna is some kind of subdivision of Prim, though I'm not sure about that. I bought this clock about 6 years ago, and trust me, it's been through a lot. I only got it because I liked the color, and sadly, as you might see, it's not in the best shape possible. Most of the paint from the case has flaked off, and the case started rusting. It's also missing the setting knobs, so in order to set the time on this clock I use this size 0 pocket watch key. It still has the price tag on it. And it also runs extremely fast, and there's nothing I can do about that. Now you might be wondering, what's so interesting about this small alarm clock that makes it deserve its own video? Well, recently I opened up this clock to try and regulate it again, and I noticed something quite unusual inside the movement. Let me show you. Oh yeah, and if you're curious about what the alarm sounds like, it's literally this. Hold on, let me wind this real quick. Yeah. And here's the lovely little movement inside the Chronotechna alarm clock. It's a beautiful movement if you ask me. It has a very good amplitude on the balance wheel, but sadly it runs extremely fast. I don't know if you noticed anything weird while I was winding it, because that might have given away what the special thing about this clock is. So now for the big reveal, this clock uses a torsion spring winding mechanism. Now that is something that you don't see every day. This torsion spring winding mechanism is very uncommon and I've only seen long case clocks using this type of thing. I couldn't even imagine an alarm clock would use this. It's meant to be a silent winding system, which it really is, trust me. This thing has one big disadvantage though, which makes me prefer the classic ratchet and click winding mechanism over this. That being the fact that if one of those torsion springs were to break, this movement would likely be thrown away in my box full of spare parts. Because there's no way of fixing this without making another custom torsion spring. And very few people have the skill to do that. However, during the many years in which this clock has been in my collection, I've had a total of zero accidents with it. And I'm extremely happy about that because I'm very proud of having this thing in my collection in full working order. By the way, you might also be able to see what's on the front plate from this angle. Also, if you haven't noticed, the movement of this clock comes out from the front and not from the back. And yes, I do have bells ringing in the background. And there it is back together again. Here's where the clock will be staying for today. And yes, I did bring a few clocks in my room today simply because I felt like it. So yeah, that's kind of it for this video, thank you all so much for watching, I was Luca, and I'll see you later.